In this video, I'm going to show you how to replace the switch in a skill model 3305 table saw. The primary symptom of a bad switch on your table saw is that the saw just simply won't turn on anymore. Or maybe it turns on sometimes, but other times it won't. This could also be caused by a bad cord. So before you replace the switch, you'll want to take a minute and diagnose whether the switch is bad or whether it's the cord. Okay, we'll go ahead and get started. I flipped the table saw upside down on my workbench to get access to the underside of the saw. The back of the switch and the switch wires are located inside this box, which is held to the saw with four screws on the face of the saw. I'll go ahead and remove those screws now. Now we have access to the wires on the back of the switch. You'll notice that the two white wires are on one side and the two black are on the other. The wires from the cord are on this part of the switch and the wires going to the motor are down here. Before I remove these, I want to note the location of the wires or maybe even take a picture with a camera so I'll remember where they go when we go to replace them later. Now I can go ahead and remove the wires from the switch. The switch is held to the saw with these plastic tabs. There's two on the top and two underneath. To remove the switch, I push down on those tabs and at the same time push the switch away from the saw body. And then the switch will pull away from the saw. Now we can go ahead and install the new switch. The new switch will simply just push right into the saw body. Now I'll reinstall the wires in the same locations as where I removed them. Now I'll reinstall the switch cover and secure it to the saw with the screws from the front of the saw.